Now, I was going to include a whole section about how to maximize your shop pass, however, it ended up being a little too long. So tune in next time where I'll explain how to maximize your gains in a 3-day shop pass. Hey guys, Casual Gamer Corvus from Every Dairy here. After the last episode, we got so rich that we started a space program, and now we're on the moon. Anyways, today we're going to maximize our profits from a 3-day shop pass, so let's get started. First, we gotta get a shop pass. A 3-day shop pass can be attained through the fun scratch at a 0.4761% chance. Sounds awful, but it's actually not too bad. You can exchange X cubes for 1k fun scratch tickets at the X cube shop. On average, it takes me around 50 to 60 X cubes total with my luck to get a shop pass. Do note, items listed in your shop when your pass expires will still keep on selling. So anyways, once we get that shop pass, it's now time to make some bank. Gathering makes a surprisingly large amount of Meseta. In my previous video, I recommended gathering at Runes and Coast. This is due to one food item in the game called Stir Fry. Stir Fry requires 10 ruined grapes, 10 coast olives, and 10 red meat to create. This makes it a commonly used food buff for content that you might want a little bit more damage for. So basically, we're gonna go and scam people who are too lazy to gather ruined grapes and coast olives with our shop pass. At the time of recording this video, Ruined Grapes were selling for approximately 54k each, while Coast Olives were selling for 21k each, on Ship 2 alone. So I personally gathered at Ruins with all my characters and then sold the grapes for 54k each. And most importantly, make sure that you remember to trigger a fever by fishing before you start gathering, that way you can maximize the amount of grapes and olives that you get. Prepare yourself! So Divine Quests make a pretty crazy amount of money every week if you have a shop pass. By obtaining 1 million Divine Points a week, you'll be able to get a series of items. The most important of these items are modules. Mitra modules on Ship 2 sell for approximately 2 mil each, Faruna modules sell for around 700k each, and Exegul modules sell for around 600k each. While obtaining your 1 million weekly Divine Points, there's also a chance that glares may drop. Fodris Glare, for example, can sell for upwards of 2 mil each on Ship 2. I personally recommend that you do floors 16 to 20, 26 to 30, or 31 to 35 for obtaining your 1 million points. There is also a chance to drop things such as S3 Petal Song C2, which sells for approximately 120 million on Ship 2 currently. So that brings us to Risk Realm. Risk Realm can be pretty relaxing once you get the groove down, and it can also net you a lot of money if you have a shop pass. In fact, the only way to really make money from this is to have a shop pass. I'll link in the description below an affixing simulator that will help you affix so you can easily sell these units onto your shop pass. My biggest advice I have here is do not use an augmentation aid 40%. The reason for this is because an Augmentation Aid 40% costs exactly 100 X cubes, which means that's effectively 1.2 mil Meseta. This would mean that you would be actually experiencing negative profit instead of positive profit by using an Augmentation Aid 40%. So now let me let you in on a secret method that I've been using since the start of PSO2 Global. Just revealing how to do this method is going to literally tank my profits to probably nothing after this video. So basically, we're going to be attacking the timed ability market. The most popular timed abilities are for Omega Masquerade, Face of the Abyss, and Bonus Keys. So what does this mean? The crystals for these areas are insanely expensive and people always want them. However, you probably don't know this, but you can get these crystals for absolutely free. By doing Risk Realm, you're able to obtain Buster Medals and Gold Medals. You can exchange Gold Medals to Silver Medals and then exchange those for 99 Meteorite Crystals a week, which currently sell for 100k each on Ship 2. You can also trade 5 Buster Medals for Omega Crystals, which sell for about 260k each on Ship 2 as well. And finally, if you have Earth Crystals in your inventory, they usually sell for around 200k upwards of 500k each because they are used for EXP timed abilities and bonus keys. So overall, don't throw away those crystals if you have them. List them on your shop when you have a pass active and watch that Meseta come rolling in. So to summarize this whole video, gather at Ruin and Coast so you can stockpile grapes and olives. That way you can sell them off when you have shop pass active. Do your divide quests and get 1 million points every single week, then pawn off the modules to the player market. 
and do Risk Realm so you can sell Veterans Resolve, Crack, and Doom Break units. And also, Area Crystals are ridiculously overpriced so sell them and rip people off, but most importantly, items sold in your shop will still be sold after your pass expires. So overall, I hope you guys were actually able to learn something from this video, so that way we can go crash the market right before NGS comes out. Thank you guys for watching, if you enjoyed this content, please comment, like, subscribe, leave some suggestions for what you want to know in PSO2 down below. I'll see you next week where we're going to start breaking down some classes. This is Casual Gamer Core with some Everyday. Walking out.